We got another parachute pull in North Carolina. Two passengers and two dogs, Duplin County. The engine quit. You can see it hanging here from the trees. They were dangling about five feet off the ground. And then bystanders brought a ladder, came out to save the day and help these people down. So we're going to figure out what happened on this NTSB final report from January 2nd, 2020. This was the aircraft here. It was a Cirrus SR-22, November 323 Sierra Romeo was the tail number. And let's hear from the pilot. Engine quit. <laughs> and uh, beyond a couple of things to try and figure out why the engine quit, there's not an awful lot to do except figure out where you're going to end up. Good there. Seemed perfectly fine and okay. So the pilot reported that during the cross-country flight, he heard a pop from the engine and it subsequently stopped producing power. However, the engine continued to run and the propeller continued to rotate. The pilot attempted to troubleshoot the loss of power. However, it was not restored. So the pilot had to pull that CAPS parachute system. It uh, impacted some trees and terrain, resulting in substantial damage to the airframe. There you can see an up-close look at how long those that parachute system is. And here, firefighters are on scene. They're going to go ahead and check them out medically. And having the interview there, you can tell they were in good shape. Here they are again. There's that golden doodle. Um, here's the uh, open pasture. Two trains of thought on this. You guys can let me know. Do you just pull the parachute like they did? Everything went good. It's safe. Or do you try to use this open field and just try to land it? Um, so two different ways to think about it. Uh, but main thing is they're all okay at the end of the day. So it was all a good decision. And the dog looks like he had a long day um, as well. And the post-accident examination of the engine revealed that the camshaft fractured at one of its four oil transfer holes. As a result, the camshaft continuity was lost and the engine was partially unable to produce power. So not pilot error on this one. Looks like it's a manufacturing issue and Cirrus is going to have some serious questions to answer. So probable cause on this one is a fatigue failure of the camshaft due to manufacturing defect, which resulted in a loss of engine power, but not a loss of life. And here is the final report playlist that I have. You guys can watch it all. Uh, it's very interesting to go over these after the fact and kind of see what we thought originally and then what NTSB find out as well. So please subscribe to the channel if you like these videos. This is Arfan Amkioni. I'll see you guys next time.